Hi, and welcome back to our channel. In today's episode, we're diving into a lighthearted yet entertaining family moment. This time, we're discussing Shawnee Henderson backs husband Keon against Elle's daughter Amira in a hilarious battle. Stick around to get all the details. For better or worse, the Hendersons are in this together, even if it means supporting Keon's questionable art skills. In the third week of their podcast, The Grew Zone, Shawnee Henderson revealed that it was actually her husband, Pastor Keon Henderson, who came up with the unique title. He sold her on the concept with some visual aids. Yes, handmade ones. And let's just say, Shawnee had a little fun teasing Keon about his artistic abilities on air. But don't worry, Keon is pretty secure in his creative talents. Despite the playful ribbing from Shawnee, he's determined to stick with his vision for the Grow Zone, even if that means calling in some help from more talented collaborators. But through it all, Shawnee has remained supportive of his dream. For most of the episode's opening, Shawnee is every bit the proud, beaming wife, as she describes how Kayon pitched the idea of the Grew Zone. Spoiler alert, the title is derived from the Ozone. She absolutely loved the concept, and how Keon envisioned an environment where people could thrive and grow, just like how the ozone layer protects the earth. But did he really need to create a drawing to explain it? Shawnee thought maybe not. In her words, because I love you, the drawing was a 10. But she quickly added that if she didn't care for him, she'd probably give it an honest rating of 2 out of 10. Ouch! Of course, Keon thought it deserved better than a 2. Keon described his drawing as representing plants growing within the ozone, with ultraviolet rays attacking it, and life flourishing despite the odds. While Shawnee joked that they should display the artwork on the podcast for viewers to see, she didn't quite mean it. In fact, Keon himself hinted that next time, he'll have their daughter, Amira, take over the artistic duties. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. Now. Here's where things get even more interesting. We didn't know that Shaquille O'Neal and Shawnee Henderson's daughter, Amira, was such a talented artist. Shawnee even confirmed it, saying, yes, Mimi can draw all day. However, Shawnee still feels that no one can bring the concept of the Gru Zone to life quite like its originator, Keon. When Keon first sold Shawnee on the podcast idea, he compared it to creating an environment where people are protected while they grow similar to how the ozone shields the earth. Shawnee, out of love, made him believe it was a work of art. But now, he's beginning to realize she was playfully teasing him all along. True to the podcast's theme, they turned this lighthearted disagreement into a teaching moment, celebrating their differences. The couple's main point of contention? What makes for good art? Shawnee, with her background as a creative producer of Basketball Wives, and now this podcast, even suggested letting the viewers be the judge. But in a surprise twist, Keon decided to go a different route, declaring, I'll do it as an NFT. That declaration didn't go over well with Shawnee, who may have had flashbacks to her ex-husband, Shaquille O'Neal's NFT drama. She wasn't thrilled with the idea, but in the spirit of the podcast's theme of growth and protection, Shawnee responded, whatever. I'm supporting you. After all, what more could her husband ask for? And that's all for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and spending your precious time with us. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and we'll see you again soon with another fun and informative episode. Have a great day.